like him? Yeah, he was cool. All right, I got to get ready for the next one. Give me just a second. I'm going to switch this to this pocket. And let's see how good you guys are. My, my fellow empo for future employees over there, identify the species. An egg, a chicken, another old dinosaur. And this one was never going to actually be a chicken. And then I cooked it. And now I'm taking off the hard shell that those babies would normally have to crack out of themselves. And I'm going to take the yucky part out of the good part. You guys know that there's a white part and a yellow part. There's some good stuff in the yellow part. Some good vitamins and some good protein and stuff like that. There's a lot of nasty stuff in there too, like saturated fats and lots of cholesterol and stuff. So if you eat the yellow part, just not make it too many. Maybe like a one to four ratio or something like that. But we're going to feed this healthy, super good protein to our next carnivore. This animal exists on planet Earth with one sole purpose. This next animal exists on our planet to hunt and kill other things. There is no other reason that this animal exists. I hope you guys like her. If you are in the back, you may want to stand up because I'm going to have to keep her up here. And I'm going to ask you guys on the floor, if you could just crisscross applesauce please for me. And scoot back just a little bit. Don't want your faces too close to the front. Yeah, I might eat you. We're not allowed to let that happen. We have a very, very fussy insurance agent. All right, you ready? Here you go, honey. Oh, oh, God. All right, here she comes. Come on, up here. Good girl. All right, this is Isis, everybody. Say hello to Isis. Good job. Isis is, as far as we know, the only wild and exotic species of cat that travels around for environmental education programming in northern New England. Now, does anybody know what the word exotic means? Yes. No. Go ahead, give it to me. It means it's not locals, like from far off places. It doesn't live where you live, that's right. So, the word exotic refers to things in relative terms. For example, if you went to England, or maybe Africa, or Australia, and you made friends with somebody there, and you said, yes, I live in Maine, and we have all these fluffy-tailed, annoying gray squirrels around us, they would be like, no way! Oh, those guys are so cute, I love them so much, those squirrels are awesome exotic animals, and you'd be like, awesome! Right? Like, my dad has a BB gun just for them, right? You know? So, so you know, it's all this is an animal that would live in your backyard if you lived with a Maasai tribe in Africa or if you lived anywhere in Africa, somewhere close to a body of water, in generally a, ba a field or a savannas or grassland region, anywhere from the equator all the way down to the southern tip of South Africa. This animal, by the way, famous for having been on an Animal Planet program, is number nine on Animal Planet's list of the world's ten deadliest cats. Can anybody identify this species for me that didn't come here with me? Mackenzie, put your hand down. And my sister, too. Anybody who I don't know who knows what this is. This may be another first for many of you. All right, Becky, tell them what it is. It's a serval. That's right. Some people pronounce it serval. Come on up here, Isis. Who has never even heard of a serval before? There are 23 different wild species of cats that share this planet with us. And the general public really knows the names of some of the big cats, like lion, leopard, jaguar. Cheetah, that's right, don't call her a cheetah by the way. She gets so upset. She's like, would you call me? I'm so much better than that. Because what are cats here to do? I introduced her as an animal who exists on planet Earth to hunt and kill other things. Big cats hunt big things, little cats hunt little things, that's right. And a cheetah is probably the worst at it, even though they're so famous for being... I mean, really, to even call them a cat, they don't even retract their claws. 